Okay, welcome to my video on designing a website uh, in HTML, a simple business uh, website theme or template. And uh, we're going to build through the series of, of various videos, we're going to build um, uh, s uh, a nice business template. And then I'm going to make it a theme in WordPress. Okay. Uh, but first, we want to build the HTML, CSS template. So let's go about doing that. Okay. So to start, I'm going to open a text editor called Atom. And this, I use this text editor because I like the dark text editors. I like the colors of it. Tabs and indents for you. Very nice. Keeps your code very organized. So, And it's free. I highly recommend it. Okay, so let's add a project folder. So I'm going to add this. It's a great business. All right. Now within this, you're going to need some files. So I'm going to add, in this video, we're going to focus on just doing the markup for the home page. So we'll do a new file. We'll call it index.html. Okay. And we're also going to need a couple folders. We're going to need a CSS folder. And we're going to need an image folder. So let's add those. We've got those in there. Okay, let's work on our HTML, though, because that is what this video is about. So let's declare that our doc type is HTML. Uh, we'll start with our HTML code. Okay. And we're going to start with a head. All right. So in the head, um, we're going to need a title, and we're going to call this um, great. Well, we'll call this uh, uh, sample website dot whatever, and then this is the uh, this is the great business home page. Okay, and I'll put our title. All right, and then we're going to do a comment in HTML. So this is going to be where our metas are. And the first one is going to be our description. And, oh, sorry, meta name equals description. And content for that is um, this is a great template for our business. Um, okay, and then the next one we'll do is the author. It doesn't really matter which order we do these in, but um, and the author's name is me, Tim Unker. Okay, cool. All right, and then the last one I'm going to do, I'm going to keep the code fairly simple, is uh, I'm going to do uh, viewports. So this will help us with mobile optimization. Uh, we won't do it. Uh, until probably video three will be mobile optimization of the website or the home page. Uh, first, we're just going to do the markup in this one. So the content for this will say with equals uh, device with. Okay. And close that out. And then the last part of the head, we're going to uh, call in our style sheets. Okay, and I'll say um, link relation equals style sheet, and then call it uh, CSS style dot CSS, and we'll have to create that file. Um, it's not going to work because we won't have it just yet, but let's add the file nonetheless. File CSS. Okay, boom. We've added that file. That will be video two. Okay. And then we'll close out our head. Okay. And then we'll move to our body. Now for our body, we'll start with a header. And in the header, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have uh, a responsive menu. And I'm going to get that. I'm going to go online and just copy it from W3Schools. I'm going to use theirs. Um, and let's make sure my uh, indenting is good. Oops. Uh, on everything. Okay, and then close out my header there. 
after that part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, a showcase. So we'll only do this on the home page, so I'll use an ID. Um, and we'll do an image source equals uh, showcase.jpg. And we're going to have to go into the image folder to do that. So we'll do that. Okay. And then we'll have um, a little bit of text. This is a great business. Okay. And then we'll close out that div. All right. Next up, I'm going to do uh, three columns. So I'll do uh, start with the class equals three column. And then within that, we'll do another div class equals uh, three column one. Okay, so it'll be just one of the three columns. That's how I'm, I'm thinking of it in my mind. It doesn't really matter what you name these things. You can just go ahead and, and do it. Uh, okay, so, and then within that, we'll have to have an image. Um, so let's see, and we'll do a guy. Hey guy, that JPEG. Hey guy. All right. Um, and then we'll do some um, text. Now I'm just going to get some more MIPS and text. Uh, so I'll just Google that. And then just copy, copy some of that. I don't want all that. I just want a little bit. Oh, come on. Okay, cool. And do that and then close out that parentheses uh, and close up that div. And then I want three of those. All right, so I'm going to copy that and then paste and paste. And then I'll close out the overall div. Okay, so after that, we're going to do a call to action. So our div class is going to be called call to action. And then um, there I'll do. Uh, some text like this is where you click to go to a cool page where you can buy stuff okay yep so i roll uh call this class a, a button first okay and then the link is going to be to services.html and then we'll just do some text click here and close that out and then close out the div and now that reminds me we should uh work on this menu a bit so this is kind of junk here all right so we'll do index the html um, and then home page and after the home page, we're going to have to have an about page. So that's going to be about.html. So we'll have to make all these pages. So about, close that out. After that, we're going to have a contact.html. Uh, so we'll do contact, close that out. Um, we're going to have to do uh, services.html in our menu. So we'll do services. And close that out, and then we'll have to do a um, maybe a portfolio portfolio at HTML, and uh, we'll have that, and then close that out. And I think we uh, got rid of something, so I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I want the, the JavaScript that they give us because that's gonna help um, later on when we. We'll, we'll optimize the code. Okay, so we've got our menu down. Let's go back to there. So I'm a little, uh, sorry, I went a little ADHD with that. Um, okay, so we got a call to action. Next up, we'll do a two column thing. So our div class is going to be two, if I can spell, column. Okay, and then we'll do another div. Uh, and this will just be one of the two columns, so I'm going to call it two, column one. And in that, I'm going to start with an image. And we're going to call it image, hey guy, 
2.jpg. Okay, and then we'll have some text. I'm going to get a little different text from the lorem ipsum. So do that. Okay. Boom. And close that out. And then close out that div. And we want two of these. So let's just copy and paste. Okay. And then, and then we want to close out that div. All right. Now, uh, to finish up the page, we want a footer. And in the footer, we're going to do just some top copyright. Copyright. Do the little copyright symbol. Um, and we're going to call this a great business example. Okay, and then close out the footer. And then close out um, the body. And then close out the HTML. Okay. Hit Control S to save it. Okay, so now we go back. Bring that down, bring that down. Go into our website templates. Uh, great business. We'll open the file in Chrome. Okay, and this is what we got. So we don't have, doesn't look great yet. Uh, we don't have any of the images. So let's, to finish up this video, let's put the images in. So you'll see I put them on the side here. So I'm just going to drag them into the uh, image folder, go back, hit refresh, bam. There are our images. It should be noted I'm developing this in a local environment. Uh, so we're well on our way to building our website. We've got our menu, our showcase. Um, this is going to work into three columns, call to action, and then two columns, uh, and then the copyright. And we're going to make this look a lot nicer with CSS in the next video. But for right now, um, this is what we've got. And stay tuned for the next one when we make it look a lot nicer on the screen. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you found what you're looking for. Bye.